Good morning. Um, today I want to talk about um, eliminating Bluetooth noise and um, we'll see what Bluetooth noise is and, and how I eliminate it in my, um, in my uh, Bluetooth boards. Um, here we have a very simple setup. We have a USB Bluetooth audio receiver and we have a uh, small 3 watt amplifier and I have the uh, Bluetooth connected directly up to the amplifier by this cord here. Now when you try to power a Bluetooth unit along with the amplifier from a single power source, this is going up to my, um, my lab um, power supply, um, you get a ground loop and the ground loop will cause a buzzing or a hissing sound to come out of the amplifier and uh, I'll show that to you here right now. So I've got on my iPhone. I've got uh, some royalty-free classical music, so that it, so that I don't get a copyright hit. Um, but it, it'll it'll serve for the purposes of demonstration. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the power supply. Enter Bluetooth. Connecting. So I'm sure you can hear that um, that buzzing in the background that's from the ground loop. Now let's go ahead and turn on the, the music player. You can see once we turn on the music player the, the buzzing gets even worse. I've got the volume all the way down right now and now I'll turn up the volume here on the Bluetooth player. And turn it back down again. And you can hear that awful buzzing that uh, that's being caused by that ground loop. Let me go ahead and turn this off. All right, so there's a couple of different ways that you can deal with this to eliminate the buzzing. Um, what a lot of people do is they put a, a filter here between the the Bluetooth receiver and the amplifier. Um, either that, or after the um, or or in the um, in, in the speaker cables in the speaker cable pathway to try to eliminate that noise. Uh, what I do is I, I I just want to eliminate the ground loop altogether. So the best way I've found to do that is by using these little isolation transformers. Um, this one here is made by Murata. It's the one I happen to use. Um, and it is a isolation DC to DC converter, and it's a very simple, it's a very simple um, component to use. What it does is it takes the power from the power supply and isolates it. Now these come in different values. Uh, this one happens to to um, to be driven by five volts and and puts out a five volt uh, DC signal. Um, if you were using a 12 volt amplifier and you wanted to drive um, a USB um, Bluetooth receiver, you would use a, uh, a 12 volt to 5 volt converter. And um, so, so, so they make these in all different types of, uh, of input and output voltages. And it's a very simple, it's a very simple setup. Um, there are four pins. Uh, the two pins on the left are the uh, input voltage, so this is the input negative, input positive, and then the other two are the output, so you go output negative and output positive. And um, there are, generally with these you use a, um, an inductor and a capacitor to get rid of some of the ripple in, in your DC signal. And uh, there we go. Here, I'll just show you a little circuit of what's being done. Here's the uh, the DC to DC converter. Um, so you hook up the negative and positive leads to your to your power supply, and then your negative and positive power supply go down to your load, which in this case is our Bluetooth um, receiver. Uh, there's an inductor in series outside of the of the positive, and then there's a uh, capacitor 
between the um, between the negative and the positive leads. Now I'm going to go ahead and set this up, and I'll be back in a second so that you can uh, so that you can hear what this sounds like when it's all set up. Okay, we're back. So here we have the uh, isolation transformer, isolation DC to DC converter. Um, and uh, we have the, the, the two inputs connected to our power supply. On the, the negative portion of the output, let me see if I can get in a little, little closer here so you can see it. Just take it off with the tri -tool. All right, so here we have the negative and the positive inputs to the power supply. Uh, out of the out of the negative output, we have that to the negative portion of this USB connector. Uh, the positive the positive um, lead of the output is going through this uh, inductor into the positive um, lead of the USB, and across the positive negative lead of the USB, we have uh, a capacitor. So everything else is set up the same. And uh, let's go ahead and see what the sounds like. Enter Bluetooth. Connecting. Okay, so you can hear now that there is no more buzzing. Um, this took care of the ground loop. Uh, let's go ahead and play some of this music again. Uh, the, the the music player is on and the volume is all the way down you can hear that there's no buzzing okay there you go um, everything's working properly We've eliminated the ground loop, and um, the output sounds really good. The reason why I like to use this system um, is because I can pair this Bluetooth receiver with any amplifier that I want to work with. If I want something low power, I'll use one of these 5-volt, 3-watt um, amplifiers. Or I can pair it with a 12-volt, um, you know, with a 12-volt um, Class D amplifier. Or I can even pair it with, uh, you know, with a car audio um, system if I'm making, a, you know, a, a really big um, Bluetooth boombox. Um, so this really increases the versatility. And um, what I typically do when I'm when I'm when I'm using these is I'll set these up on a uh, I'll set these up on a uh, breadboard, and I'll include a picture at the end of this video um, on what that looks like. Um, so guys, I uh, hope you enjoy it. I hope you find this helpful and uh, talk to y'all later.